here with the 2012 NCAA Division III Indoor Track and Field National Champion, Laura Sigmund from Warwickburg. Laura, it took a, you know, it's your senior year, you get to go out as a national champion. Talk about how gratifying, how great that feels right now for you. Um, it's really exciting for me because this is the first time I've even been to run at a national track meet. I've been to some cross country meets and that was really fun, but the track atmosphere is so much different and it's even more rewarding when I got to share it with my teammate who was the runner up. So that's just so much better to have someone there with you to share the excitement with. You know, obviously you're the senior, she's a freshman. Obviously you guys have been pushing each other all year, obviously. Like you said, it's your first time competing on the track level, but, you know, so how's that been helpful to have a teammate that you guys can push each other and get rewarded like you did today? Uh, it helps so much because every day I know I'm going to have someone right next to me pushing me harder than I could ever push myself alone, and it's just great to know every day when I step out there for practice I'm going to be challenged in a way that most other athletes don't have the opportunity to do on their teams. You know, you're, you're almost competing in your own backyard while you're here. You know, talk about how great, you know, probably able to bring a few friends, maybe a few family members. Talk about to win a national title in front of all those people. That, you know, how, um, how great's that? That just adds to the senior year thing. Like, my fa my whole family got to be here. Um, people that haven't even came to any of my other meets are able to be at the national meet, the most important meet. And... Uh, it's just great because our whole team is like filling the track. We're like, oh, is Grinnell even going to have enough stands for all the Warburg people? But I mean, it's less than two hours away. So it was, it's just great to have such amazing support. Yeah, we couldn't have done it without them. And you have the support of your teammates, but you also your family. Talk about how great that is for them to, you know, you know they've, they've seen your whole career, you know, from your first race, you know, if it was in junior high, elementary school, all the way now, they see, see you win a national title. How great is that feel? Julia as well. Um, my parents are very excited for me because they've seen all the frustrations. I battle a lot with injury and cross country. I have some weak ankles. So that's always a point of frustration for me and just to uh, be able to be here when I'm doing well. I mean, they're in the good times and the bad times. And they come to, my sister runs for another uh, team in our conference. So they'll go to her meets the, the day before and then come to my meet the next day when one's in Dubuque and one's in Waverly. They're just driving everywhere. So I just love how supportive they are. And my dad would cringe because I don't know if he knows. I know this, but one of my friends always talks about and T-Ball, back when I was really little, he was so embarrassed the way that I ran around the bases that he um, took me out there and had to show me how to run around the bases so I wouldn't embarrass him at the games. <laughs> well, he probably saw you run pretty fast around that track and earned the national title. Obviously, now you played a role into a team national title. Talk about how great, how great that is, too. You know? um, <laughs> we came into today and we um, realized we had a really good chance of every single person who qualified to be an All-American and once we got that in our heads we weren't going to let it go and um, we they won my freshman year, I wasn't here obviously then, but uh, they won that year and um, the seniors who were a part of that knew they just wanted to take it back this year because we've seen it slip away just by a couple points so many times we were definitely ready to have it back especially when it's in Iowa. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're going to take the NASA show, show, trophy back to, to Waverly, you know, as an individual and, you know, with your team tonight. Obviously that's a very, very significant accomplishment, you know. what What's next? Um, well, outdoor. <laughs> we want to be in California and we want just as many people participating there as we had here. and. Uh, we're just excited to get somewhere totally different and um, I don't know from a championship standpoint our wrestling team just won too and so it's just a really exciting time to be a Warburg student and we're looking forward to more championship participations and winning. Oh, I don't know. Let's go question. <laughs> so let's see, uh, you've been on the track team all four years in Warburg or is this yep. okay? Yeah. Right? So, yeah, I guess on next is the Iowa Conference Outdoor, and uh, yep. where, where are the Outdoor Nationals on this year? They're in California. California. Well, that's, Claremont, that's the California side. Claremont is Go from the closest side. to the farthest. Yeah. <laughs> What's your thoughts about running in the Charles Benson Bear Recreation Athletic Center on the Grinnell College campus? What's your thoughts about running um, in the facility? Yeah, I my team came here, and I wasn't able to run here because I ran at Iowa State the night before. Uh, so this is my first experience actually on the surface. We came and 
practice and it's really nice. We love the bounce for distance races. Uh, yeah, I really liked it. It's so clean and modern and I love the sun. Talk, talk about the family experience within your team. Uh, on, on the back of your t-shirts it even says WTF family. So just talk about the family aspect within your team and how that helps your team into possibly winning a national championship later on tonight? Um, I would say being a family for us is more important than uh, winning any championship could be because yeah. if you aren't there to support each other, what are you there for? You're just you're just competing against each other and that doesn't build a team. I mean, you have to have some healthy competition with your teammates in order to push each other, but uh, if you're not there to pick up your teammate, you can't be a team all by yourself. And um, just knowing if you're having a bad day, you can't be around your parents every day, but you can be around your teammates every single day for a couple hours at practice. So our coaches really strive to make sure that we know we have that place. Thanks, Laura. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.